Hey everyone, good morning and welcome to week five. Today we're going to go over how to uh, finalize your essay for submission and then where to submit it. Okay. All right. So, um, So when you log on, you know, normally we are, you might normally see announcements, okay? And so um, what we're gonna do is, actually before I show you where to submit it, I'm gonna go over just uh, how your paper should look, okay? Um, you should have received from your, from somebody who, who took your, who, uh, edited your paper, okay? Um, hopefully somebody did. It's not a requirement that you had yours edit. It's just a requirement that you edit somebody's, okay? But hopefully they uh, they took yours and that you got a um, some sort of feedback, okay? And that you should look at your feedback to see what they suggested, what they said, that sort of thing and apply it, okay? If they, if they said your MLA formatting is not correct, you should look at that. If they said that you don't have a claim for your first paragraph, you should look at that, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm going to do one little final quick um, edit of this student's paper. Uh, sorry, Edward, you didn't ask for me to do this, right? But I just pulled yours up, okay? Because I noticed that um, it could use a little bit of uh, final touch-ups, okay? So um, one of the major things that you need to make sure that you do is get the MLA formatting correct, okay? Um, let me show you something. Okay, so... I have a rubric that I'll be using to edit your papers, okay? I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so um, this is, look, 20% of your essay is just going to be, of your grade, just the topic. Is it a correct topic? Is it actually an illustrative topic? Something that you can actually use illustrations for. 30% is your content. Are you using good examples? Are you analyzing? Are you explaining well? That sort of thing. And then another 30% is MLA formatting. Okay. The MLA formatting and the content are the two most important parts of, of, of your essay. So you have to make sure that your MLA is correct because part of this class, you know, I'm not teaching you any facts in this class or any content. I'm teaching you how to write a college level paper, okay? And part of that is structure and organization, okay? And that's why MLA formatting is so important. Um, making sure that you get that down is really, really important because that, that's what's gonna follow you to your other classes. Um, what's going to, uh, when people, when you take history or you take um, psychology or some other course that you are gonna be writing papers for, okay? Um, the quality of your setup and the way your paper looks and flows is, is gonna reflect whether or not you learned anything in 1101. Okay, and so I want to make sure that all of my students are well equipped to uh, produce really good papers written in correct formatting. Okay, so that's why it's really important. So we're gonna look at this one and there's some uh, work that needs to be done. Okay, first off, we need page numbers. Now I had uploaded a template that I think already included the page numbers. So you, all you had to do is put in your, your last name. So let's say you don't know how to do that, okay? Well, your last name needs to be all capitalized. And then you need to hit insert. And um, we're in the header part. 
okay? And we need page numbers, which are where? Oh, right here, duh. Okay, top of page. And it needs to be on the align to the right. See this? Align to the right. So plane number three. And if it deletes your last name, you just hit space bar and put it back. All right, double click out. So see, I got up here by doing double click. See how this is kind of gray? That tells me it's in the correct place. If you dismantle this and then you tabbed over and you did Baker one, okay. I would know that this is not in the right place or this is not the right process because A, it's all black. The headers should be, uh, when they are properly placed, they're gray. And also it's too low. This is in the, what's called the header section of your paper, which is kind of confusing because this is your heading, H-E-A-D-I-N-G. And this is your header. Okay, the header, to get to the header, you have to double click. See, header, header, okay? This is your heading, uh, which is the MLA term. So if you manual, if you don't put your, your last name in the page numbers in the actual header, I'm gonna know. It's gonna be too low and it's gonna be black. So you need to make sure, don't shortcut. <laughs> I just whistled. You need to make sure you don't shortcut yourself and just do it correctly, okay? All right, also look, this is not actually double spaced. Do you see how my cursor appears in every line? That means that this person, sorry for calling you out, um, inserted it manually. We don't want manually, okay? We want it to be double spaced. And we don't have additional spaces between paragraphs. Um, because we indent our paragraphs. The indention shows that there's, okay. So we need to do is we need to highlight it all, go to paragraph, go down a line space. See, it's, it says single. That means the whole paper is in single. We need to go to double. Now this is good, zero before, zero after. That's correct. Okay, now it's double spaced correctly. Okay, let's double space correctly. Now the next thing we're gonna do is, do you see how this side is all straight? It's all in line, it's all in line. It all begins at the same spot and it proceeds to the right. But then you go over here and it's, it's all jagged looking. It's like a mountain range, okay? So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're, we're going to highlight everything. I like to just do control A. You're gonna go up here to these formats and you, you're gonna click the justify one, justify. And then watch the, the right-hand side. Ah, pretty, pretty. Okay, that looks good. Okay. So now, oh, let's... Now the formatting is correct, okay? The formatting is correct. This is proper MLA formatting, okay? And then we can look to see how many words have been typed. 737 words, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to check to see if that's enough. Let's see, okay, 600 to 750 words. Yep, that's good, which is only a, a barely, which is only two full pages, okay? I don't know where, uh, uh, that's not really three to four type pages, so. But 600 to 750 words, roughly, so that's pretty good right there, okay? We have five paragraphs, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Um, why Nissan's the best car brand? Okay, well, um, 
illustrative topics are about trying to a lot of times prove a point by using illustrations, okay? Um, some of those are, are anecdotes. I was a young team with a part-time job. I had a car that was an older car. Okay, so here we have a little anecdote. Okay. Okay. Um, they're good on gas. Um, got some more examples. All right. So I'm not going to grade this full on in terms of like what the student received. Okay. What I'm going over mostly is that it's in the correct format for submission that, that it looks ready to be submitted whether or not the content is correct or accurate or whatever that's not what i'm focusing on right now is it is it in the correct condition to be turned in so like edward baker okay oh look pay attention to the uh, red squigglies okay so so far his looks good it at least has the presence of a correct essay it's is now it's double spaced it is um, the headings correct, the page numbers are there, okay, it's the correct number of words. So he would just need to read through the essay to make sure that his ideas are, are solid, but at least it looks ready to be submitted. Now, of course, Edward, uh, I'm not sending this to you. I'm just using you as an example. So you need to go back in and you need to fix your essay before you submit it. And maybe you already have. This is your rough draft, okay? So. I'm not really judging you, okay? Okay. Um, let's see if there's another one I can do real fast before. Um, new share. Oh no, I never went back to your to the essay. I hate when I do that. All right. I realized I was just looking at this essay, talking about it, but y'all weren't seeing it, okay? So let me just go over it one more time quickly. This essay, now that you can see it, because I, I didn't do this new share, I apologize. This essay now looks the part. It looks good, okay? It's at least 700 uh, words, okay? Uh, the, the, the heading is correct now. There's no additional spaces between any paragraphs, okay? Like that would be wrong, okay? There's no additional space between title and the first uh, paragraph. That would be wrong right there, okay? There's no additional space between the date and the title. That would be wrong. Sometimes I get essays where they're like this. I'm like, what are you doing? What, why, why that? Okay, that's incorrect. Okay, there should be no additional spaces at all between any lines in the paper, okay? Um, the the uh, last name and page number is correct. This is exactly how it should look, okay? Here, all the lines, it's been justified, okay? This is how your paper should look. When I, when I um, download all your papers and start grading them, when I first open them up, I should immediately be impressed by the MLA formatting. The MLA formatting is the easiest thing to fix, to have correct. It's the easiest 30% of your paper, okay? You just follow it. You just follow the, the directions. You follow what I've done here. And make it look like this, okay? This dude has one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. Great. Page numbers, last name. Last name is capitalized, great. MLA formatting should be perfect, should be easy, 30 points, okay? So Edward, you need to fix yours since that was the rough draft. All right. Um, now let's, let's, I'm just gonna pull one more up, okay? Once again, hope I'm not embarrassing anybody, doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm doing you a favor, so you should just be happy with it okay all right let's see oh this is a pdf okay so like new share let's see make sure we're sharing this okay good okay so like amaya some things we're already noticing 
There's no last name, page number. Okay. Um, let's see here. I can download this. Um, just, put it, just put it in my downloads. What are you, what are you doing? Downloads. Yeah. Maya. So hold on, I'm, I'm gonna put Amaya's into a uh, into a Word document. So I'm gonna edit it. You can come sit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just copy and pasting, putting Amaya's into a Word. All right, new share. Okay. So this is Amaya's paper, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. Even though she, I'm not gonna be sending this to her, she's gonna do it on her own, okay? But I'm just showing you what, what should be happening. Okay. So um, we're going to put keys here. She didn't have her last name up there, okay? I just copied and pasted this over from the PDF. We need to select all, go to paragraph. Oh wait, it says I'm, I'm paused again. New share, example. Oh, let me hit resume share. There we go. Okay, now y'all can see. Freaking zoom. Okay, so I just entered in keys last name up here. So keys one. Okay, keys are the same thing as as Lilidu did. Uh, we have a space between Mister and Buyers. There's a space that goes there. We need to fix the spacing. So I highlighted it all, I just said select all, paragraph, line spacing, double, okay. All right, and then uh, we, we need to tab our paragraphs. Paragraphs all begin with an indented first line. They're all indented, okay. There we go. And then uh, we need a title. So you need to go here. We center our title, okay? And we'll just say obesity is, oops, obesity is bad. I don't know. Obesity is bad, there we go, okay? There's our title. The due date, I mean, this date up here should be the due date of the paper. Papers due on Monday. What is that? Let's see. Um, Final answer with your official essay, 9 12. So this should actually be 12 right here. Okay. Um, it's five, look, we noticed down here it's only 517 words. The paper needs to be at least 650 words. So uh, Amaya needs to increase her word count by, um, you know, if she had a hundred more words, that'd be good. Okay. Um, oh, and then look, left side, straight, 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 right side, all jaggedy, all jaggedy. So once again, we're going to select all of it and we're gonna hit justify. Boom, look at that. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty now. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right. Now, once again, I'm not saying what she's written is good. I'm not saying that uh, that any of the ideas are good. I, right now, I'm just going over 
how to secure at least 30 points of your essay, which is MLA formatting, okay? Your last name, all caps with page numbers, all lines double spaced, no additional lines between paragraphs or between titles, okay? You have the correct heading, your name, my name, the class, the due date. You have a title. You have indented paragraphs. You have no additional lines between paragraphs, okay? Some people are gonna do this. They're gonna have, they're, they're, they are going to go to paragraph and they're gonna have eight right here in the after part. And then you're gonna have this, which, which creates this additional space between, between lot, certain lines, okay? And that's incorrect. I know for a fact, I'm gonna see some of your papers like this. And when I go to check it, I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna go to paragraph and I'm gonna see that this either has zero, I'm sorry. It's either gonna be blank or it's gonna be eight. And that's gonna be incorrect. It needs to always be zero. Now it has reduced those excess lines. Okay, it's proper MLA formatting. And I'm gonna check that it's justified on the right hand side. Okay, this is how your paper should look. When you are done with that, you are going to go to lessons. Okay, you're gonna go down to Lesson two, illustration, example, essay. I'm going to scroll all the way down to essay one, illustrative essay, and you're going to submit your paper. Okay, and that's it. And we're done. And then I'm going to start grading, grading them. Monday, I'm going to try to grade like 20 a day because I have a whole lot of you, you kids, okay? Uh, three classes. So uh, I'll try getting done in a week. Okay. Um, re remember, you can still turn in your essay until the point that you get a zero. And even when you get a zero, you can still turn your, your essay in. Like, let's say you're just real late in doing your essay. Okay. Uh, then just turn it in. I don't need emails asking if you can turn it in. I don't need emails asking, you know, telling me why you haven't turned it in. I don't need emails, you know, uh, for all that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, if you don't have a zero in the grade book, then that means you can still turn your essay in for full credit. Okay. Once you see a zero in the grade book for your essay, you can still turn it in. You, but when I, but when I go to end of the grade in, uh, I'm going to take off points. Okay. For being late. So I don't need, you don't need any special permission for turning your late, your work in after Monday. Just know that if, if I, uh, once I get to once I grade all the essays, any essay that's not turned in, I just give a zero to, okay? So like, you know, you could turn your essay in on Wednesday and still not receive any late points, okay? It's only a zero until I finish all the essays. So if you're running late in turning your essay in, you should just pray that I'm overwhelmed with too much work to do that I can't grade all the essays at once, okay? All right, so let me know if you have any questions. Send me an email. I'll be here. I hope you saw everything on my screen that I saw. Okay. See you later. Uh, stop recording.